Alright, this is the PlayStation 1 emulator on my iPod. It's running. It's kind of slow though. Okay. To make it run, you gotta have Cydia right there. And you gotta have this thing called Boss Press. It has a picture of a little switch. You can just type in Boss Press on Cydia. It's also on the homepage and the um, promotional apps. Alright. And you have to have the SSH thing. It has to be on. And also, y your internet also has to be on for this to work. Okay. On your computer, you must have WinSCP. And then, um, this thing pops up. You make an account thingy. So it's pretty easy. You log in. This thing pops up. Log in. Okay. You can clip the little up arrow. Or you can hit backspace on the uh, on the keyboard. I'll just go back. All right, so click this little thing one time, and then you should get this uh, menu. Go to mobile, then go to media. And there should be one called ROMs and PSX. All right, right here is where you put your games. All right, that one website I gave you earlier ago. Um, here, let me... Alright, when you... Usually when you download a game from that website, you'll get a zip file. Inside that zip file, there should be a couple other things. You will find a .cue, a .bin, or a .img. See how this one has a lot of um, space size? And it's a dot bin or dot img. Alright, so what you do is you take that and drag it onto your desktop. And this thing will pop up. Uh -huh. And then once it's done downloading, you will have the, um, that. Yeah, I have mine right here. You will have this. Alright. So that is that. And then you take the .bin file and you drag it into the ROMs folder. So just drag and then you let go of it and then you click copy and then you exit out. And then on your iPod you go to the EPSXE, you click on it and then you click on the on the um, IP thing. You click on that and then give it a couple seconds. Uh, give it about 30 seconds and it should load up. But it runs at like 7 frames per second or less, so it's really slow. Alright, so that's how you do it. Later.